Okay, so first thing we do is let's set up fresh. Um, can we also increase the font can... a tiny bit? Yeah. Totally. Thank you. Awesome. Perfect. Uh, I, I don't remember the install command off by heart, so let me copy it. Oh, that is not it. Oh, I see. This uh, copy button is now working. There we go. Okay. <clears throat> Installing some dependencies. Uh, we're going to use Tailwind. I'm using VS Code, and that's our fresh project. Okay, so Dino task start. Um, oh, I think I have yes something running in the background. Cool. Um, uh, let's see here. Browser. Let's pop that to the side. Let me. OK, cool. Um, OK, so let's delete some of the stuff we don't need here and get started from the start. So what we're going to be building is a little paste app. Uh, what should we call this? Dino paste? I, I call it I call the folder Dino paste, but I don't know. Dino paste yeah. works. Let's do it. Dino okay. paste. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Um, okay, so title Dino paste. And then the first thing we're gonna need is an input field that folks can post their data into. We're gonna put this into a form. We'll set up the form in a second here. Let's let's do the UI first. Um, have a text area. Let's just follow what Copilot is doing here. Um, that's OK. Uh, da, 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 da. There we go. There's a text area. Let's style that a little bit. Um, let's see here. So maybe it can have a border. And do we need anything else? This can be like text Excel, larger text, some padding. OK. This is great. Uh, so I can I can write stuff in here, and hopefully I'll be able to submit it in a second. OK, so um, we write our text. What we want to do is we want to um, send this data that you've entered into the text box when you submit back to the server um, within through a post request. And then on the server, we store this data in the database and return back a URL. And then we'll show that URL on screen, or, or maybe we'll just redirect you directly to um, the URL that has your saved um, text. Um, and the URL will have like a unique um, like a unique string in the in the in the URL that like ex that yeah um, is specific for the text you pasted. Actually let's also add a button here a submit button. Um, and this now looks terrible. Let's make it a flex. OK, cool. This nice. looks somewhat better. Uh, let's add more borders. No, that looks also terrible. Uh, you can tell I'm, I'm not a UI designer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, OK, whatever. I feel like this is good enough. Yeah, that's good. Um, cool. So what we're going to use is we're going to use the form element that's just built into HTML. And what this allows us to do is um, have some input fields and a submit button, and it's going to automatically submit this as a post request when you either press enter or when you press the submit button. Um, what we'll then want to do is Fresh has the concept of handlers, which allow you to handle um, specific types of requests, like either get requests or post requests. In this case, we want to um, ha handle get requests. And we're going to uh, set that up here. To set up a handler, you just um, export this handler object from the global or from from the module from the re, from the route and then you get a have a get um, and a post uh, da, 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 da. it's going to error here for a second while we're setting this up the first argument to this is the request and the second argument is the context and for the get request we'll just want to context on render and um, let's see oh this should be handlers that's the problem. Cool. Yeah. So this should be context render, and this is just going to render the uh, page in theory. In practice, it's not doing that. Um, oh wait, because I need to manually refresh. Haha. -ha, there we go. <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, and then on post request, 
we're going to get this request in and it's a form request. So the way we get the form out of this form request is by using the form data property or the form data method on the request. Um, it needs to be an async object for that async function rather. Um, and then we can get the content um, that this is signified here by the name on the text area. So the name is content. So we need to get the content out of the form. And we'll just check if the if the user actually entered a string as the content. Um, and if the content dot length is longer than zero, just make sure we don't create empty pastes. And if they didn't, uh, we'll return a invalid content response with error code 400. And if they did, we'll, uh, I guess we need a KV store. So let's create a folder here, utils. <laughs> Yeah, we'll need we'll need to here save this um, save the content, and then we'll redirect um, to the new paste here. I think that so let's content implement... destination should be equal to zero. Mm. Oh right, yes. Uh, if it's not a string or if the length is equal to zero, then yes, good good catch. Okay, so let's implement the methods we need for getting and. Um, or for saving and retrieving from the database. So first, let's set up a dino.kv. Um, let me enable dino.unstable so we get the right type completions. Need to do this here also. Uh, dino.open. KV. Is this going to work? Um, <laughs> oh, I think we need to include the unstable. Yes, OK, there we go. So uh, we're opening the new KV database. And then we'll export a function um, to save a paste. And what this is going to do is it's going to take the content as a string, and it's going to return the ID that we saved it as. Um, and first, we'll need to create a new ID. So I guess we can use whatever Copilot is suggesting here. Uh, let's actually see if this if this does the right thing. Let's use the UID. <laughs> yeah, this is fine. I, I, I like this more than UIDs. Let's, okay. let's Copilot's doing a good job for once. <laughs> and then we do kv.set. And uh, we'll store this under paste ID, the content. And then we'll return the ID. OK, so that's our save paste function. Um, we can use this in our post request here now. Save paste for the content. And this is going to return the ID. And then we can return a new response, um, and it's going to be a redirect. Oh, maybe I should disable Copilot because it's like doing all of what I'm meant to be doing here. Um, <laughs> what we're going to be doing is we're returning a response for the 302 status code, which is the redirect and the location header for where to redirect to. Um, yeah, so let's try that out. In theory, we should now be able to um, sub refresh this page and put something in here and submit. And then um, the URL bar didn't update, but it's it did redirect us somewhere. Um, but we can't see anything, right, because we didn't actually add the page we're redirecting to. OK, so let's do that next. Um, let's, let's try this out in the, in the browser to see the URL actually changing. Submit that. And oh, I am not awaiting a promise somewhere. Ha -ha. Let's try that again. And there we go. It's redirected us to the data that it has saved. Cool. Um, so now let's add the page to actually display that paste. 
we'll create a, a new route for that. Uh, this route's going to be dynamic on the ID because we'll, we want it to match any ID um, after this last year. We'll, we'll just copy this and we can start from here. OK, so this page does not need a post request. This only needs a get request. And this time, um, we're going to get context.params here. So this is the parameters that it parsed out of the URL. Uh, what we want is the ID. Let's get the ID. Um, and let's start by just logging out the ID. And refresh that. And you can see it gets the ID out of the URL. So if I refresh a couple more times, you can see the ID updating up there, down there. Um, OK, so next thing we'll need to do is add the function to retrieve the paste from the database. And again, Copilot is doing all of my work, except it's wrong. Ah. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get the paste. And um, it's possible that the user supplies an ID to a paste that doesn't actually exist. And in this case, this response object is going to have a value of um, null. Let's add some types here to make the types a bit better. Res.value. So you can see here the value is either going to be a string or null, depending on whether that paste exists or not. Uh, we're just going to return the string or null from this paste and then deal with the null case in the get handler here. So uh, what we can do here is if, uh, right, so get the content by calling await.get paste id. And if the content is null, we'll return context.render not found. And this is just going to render the not found page. Um, and if it was found, then we're going to pass the content to the render function here. And we're just going to add some more types again to make the types a bit nicer. And yeah, the, we can then retrieve the content from the props here, page props. And then let's see, we can do props.data. And this is going to be that string that we passed to the render function up here. And if I pull over this, you can see if I write something in here, hey, Andy, submit. I now have that saved. Um, and I can visit this in other tabs. And it's going to persist at this ID now. Awesome. Wow. Yeah, that was faster than I expected. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, two pages um, and no islands. We didn't even use the components folder. Let's clean this up a little bit. Yeah, so uh, let's recap through how this works again. So um, we have the index page that renders a form with a text area and a button. Let's close this browser so you can see better. Um, when you submit this form, it triggers a post request. We handle this post request in the route handler up here. We get the form data from the request. We get the content, check that it's a string, and check that it's not zero length. We then save the paste in the database. We do this by first generating a random ID. And then we set um, this paste in the database using the kb.set API. And then we redirect to this ID. This ID is a different handler here, um, which has a, uh, yeah, when you visit it, it triggers this get handler. We get the ID, which we parse out of the URL um, from the parameters. We get the paste from the database. This get paste just calls kv.get. And this returns either a string or a null. It returns null if the paste does not exist. If it doesn't exist, we return not found. And otherwise, we render passing in this context. And then, yeah, we render this function and, uh, or this component rather, and the the data props, this content we passed in, um, we put it out into a div. So let's try it one more time. Yeah, Hello. it's uh, it's so simple. Um, how easy would it be to be able to add something to Dino Paste where you can just see a list of all the um, all the pastes? IDs? Yeah, all the pastes. Yeah, we can do that. Um, I think yeah. that'll be like a, another five minutes here. Yeah. Um, okay, let's do that. So. 
um, we don't currently store when the paste was created, um, but we can just like get a list of all the pastes, or maybe a list of I don't know, thirty pastes. Yeah. Um, so first thing we need to do is add a method to the database to do this um, function list pastes. Pastes, yes. And um, okay, I'm going to disable Copilot because it keeps writing the wrong thing. So there we go. Um, Right, so what we need to do is KV has this list um, operation that allows you to list out things in the database. And what we want to list out here is we want to list out all the keys that start with a given prefix, um, with a paste prefix in this case. Um, so we're going to list out all the keys that start with paste. And we're going to add a limit to only get the first 30, 30 items. Uh, what this returns is an async iterator, uh, which is not the same as an array. So we'll need to turn this into an array first. Um, let's uh, do, how do we do that? Um, mm -hmm -hmm. Actually, this return value is not going to be right because we want it to return um, both the ID and the content, right? So we're going to have it return two items, the ID and the content. Um, so we'll create a new array, and then we can loop over all of the items, the key and the value um, of all of the items in this for this list operation, and then um, add this to the returns array. So we'll get the first item from, oh, this is wrong. Uh, 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 uh. We'll get as the first item, the ID, which is the first part of the key, because if you remember, the keys look like this, it's paste ID. So the rather the second part of the key is the ID. Get that. And then we'll just use the value as the second item. And we'll return the, the array here. And let's just make TypeScript happy. Da, da, da. I think I spend like half of my time making TypeScript happy, but hey, at least I get a nice auto-completion. Um, cool. So then what we can do is we can call this list paste operation. Pastes. Again, in the get handler, this time of the index.tsx. And we'll pass this paste as an argument to the render function. So it'll be passed down to the component. And we'll, again, add some types just to make this nice. Um, the type of the data here is um, an array of, of strings. And we'll do the same here. And then under the form, we can have a list. Um, now is the time where I would want Copilot to come back, but too late. I've already disabled it. Uh, we have the ID and the content. And we'll return a list item for each of these, which will contain, um, let's see, it'll contain the content. And maybe it'll contain a link to um, where to view that content on a separate page. Uh, OK, there we go. And if I look at this now, I can see all of the pastes and links to each of the individual pastes. And if I was better at CSS, I'm sure I could also make this look nice, but I don't know. Uh, what is it? List. List disk, maybe? Ah, yes. Nice. OK, well, this is, I'm not going to make it better than this. So <laughs> I'm just going to have to live with this. <laughs> Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, that was so simple to be able to just get a list of all the uh, all the pace. <laughs>